On today's Kids Corner, Liz uses Scooter in a homemade video, but Scooter is not happy. Hey, Scooter, hey. how does it feel to be famous? I'm not giving any autographs if that's what you're after, <laughs> so don't even ask. Liz, how could you do that to Scooter? Do what? Well, embarrass them in front of the whole world? That's what. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh man, oh, I can't breathe. I'm gonna die laughing. <laughs> Come in. Liz, you seem to be in a good mood today. Hi, <laughs> Spike. Hey. <laughs> Um, it's just really hard to be in a bad mood after <laughs> watching some what? some of this stuff online. Oh, oh, it's yeah. hilarious. What what stuff? Oh, the Feats of Failure website. Feats of Failure? What's oh, that? You haven't heard of it? No. Oh, man, Spiker, you miss it out. Well, uh, Man, they got videos of guys falling, crashing, no. spilling, you name it. Whoa. They post the funniest ones on the front page every day, and man, they, they just crash. Me up. <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta see this one. You gotta. Okay. okay. <laughs> this guy tries to walk on his hands huh? on a moving treadmill. <laughs> Here, what? <look>. Okay. <laughs> the treadmill flips him over on his back <laughs> and then it spits him off. <laughs> <laughs> Treated! <laughs> hey, that is funny. Let's see another one. Okay. Oh, here. Here, you gotta watch this guy on the stilts. Okay. Okay, look, watch. Yeah. See, he's running on the stilts. Uh -huh. And now he can't stop. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. He's gonna crash. <laughs> right into that parked car. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> it, seriously, what is it about gravity that these guys don't get? Hey, hey Liz. Oh, yeah, Spike. You really get your kicks out of watching people <sighs> fail? Well, see, the way I look at it is, uh -huh. if they were okay with having their failure videotaped yeah. and put on the internet, then it's okay for us to watch and to laugh. Yeah, you got a point there. <sighs> failure can be pretty funny. Oh, man, there are hundreds of videos on this site. Oh, man. I could sit and watch this stuff for hours. Oh. <sighs> okay, not right now, though. Gotta focus. Oh, well, what's up? Oh, I gotta fill out this application. Application? For what? Oh, for Camp Hollywood. Oh. It's a summer camp for kids who make videos. Huh. You'll learn all these cool tricks and techniques from the pros for making better movies. Whoa. We even do a full-scale production together. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but there are lots of kids trying to get in, and the oh. competition is really fierce. Huh. So after you send in the application, they want you to upload your best video for the admissions committee to judge. Whoa. And if they like what they see, then you're in. Well, it doesn't seem like you'd have much of a problem with that, Liz. You make awesome videos. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. The problem is, I don't know which one to enter. I mean, huh. they're all good, but in different ways. Well, how about something with action and excitement? Well, yeah, that would be great, yeah. but I don't have anything like that. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. Well, how about making a quick but extremely excellent action video? Okay. Yeah. And just how do you suggest that I do that? You just find someone who's extremely excellent at some kind of action, and you videotape it. Right. Simple. Yeah. And who would that be? Liz, do I have to think of everything? Well, I sure don't have the answer right now. Just take your time, Julia. Think about the steps, and then just plug the numbers into the right places. Oh, Lucille, I just can't understand algebra. It's like my brain just doesn't know what to do with all those letters and numbers. And that's why I am here to help you. <laughs> well, you're a real friend. Thank you. The midterms are coming up, and if I don't get a real good grade on the next test, well, let's just say that things will not be happy around my house. Okay, then. Shall we try problem number seven again? Uh, all right. Solve the equation for x. Okay. So what's the first thing you have to do? Uh, go to the mall? <laughs> no. That would be the last thing that you do Aww. to reward yourself for finishing this hard homework. Come on, rats. Well, it seemed like a good idea to me. Come on, think. What is the first step? Uh, first step. Come order on. of operations. Good. And the order is? Add and subtract, then multiply and divide. No, wait. 
It's multiply and divide, then add and... Oh, uh, no! Okay. Uh, See okay, what okay. I mean? Yes, I do. Okay, okay, just take a minute to think. What do you do first? Uh, oh, I've got it! Oh, I've got it! Yeah, I hope this is better than the last idea you had, Spike. Yeah, I guarantee this one is a winner, Liz. Okay. It's Scooter. Scooter? Yeah. What about Scooter? Scooter and his BMX bike. Wait, wait, hold up. Scooter has a BMX bike? Yeah. He's been bugging me about watching him do some stunts on it. Are you serious? Yeah, he says he's really good at it. Wow. How about we do an action video of Scooter riding his bike at the BMX track? Hey, now that is the best answer I've heard all day. That is the best answer I've heard all day. Way to go, Julia. Thanks. And your homework is finished. Woo Thank you, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what they say. When the going gets tough, the top go shopping. Yeah. Come on, let's hit them all. Now that's an order of operation that I have no problem understanding. I'm so honored that you would want to make an action video of my BMX riding. Oh, well, no problem, okay. Scooter. I mean, Spike says you're pretty good. Well, I said that Scooter said he's pretty good. Oh, good? Yeah. I'm excellent. Oh, cool. I've got jumps and twists and moves that nobody's ever seen yet. All well, right. Scooter, that is exactly what I need for this video. Yeah. Your best stuff. So let's start with some basic footage first. Okay. And then we'll get into the trick you're writing, all right? Oh, okay. All right, Liz. You just tell me what you want, and I'll give it to you. Gotcha. Okay, go around the track a few times, and I'm going to follow you with the camera from a couple of different angles. Okay. And then we'll do the individual jumps. Ooh, all right. All right, let's go. Here I go. Spike, this was the best idea for a video ever. Hey, what are friends for? <laughs> so what kind of stunts have you seen Scooter do? Well, I, uh... <clears throat> I haven't actually seen Scooter do anything on his BMX bike. But you said he's good. Well, I said he said he's good. You ready, Liz? Uh, yeah, yeah, Scooter, go ahead. Okay, Spike, Liz, yeah. ready, you had me agree to make this video of Scooter uh -huh. for something as important as Camp Hollywood. Cool. And you don't even know if he's any good? Scooter says he's good. I'm just taking him at his word. Spike, this what? isn't funny. Of course not. If it were, then you'd be making a comedy video. Spike, you're making an action video. Spike, I am Hey, look at Scooter go. Wow, he's good. Yeah. He's real good. Didn't I tell you? Uh, actually, no. Well, are you getting this? Case? I sure am, Scooter. Uh, just take a couple more laps, then we'll do some stunts, okay? It is a good thing this is working out, Spike. Uh -huh. Or I would have made you the star of this action video. Me? What would I be doing? Yeah, running for your life. Oh. Okay, Scooter, those stunts were awesome. Yeah. I think I've got enough footage to put together a great demo for the Camp Hollywood guys. Thank you so much. Oh, but wait, guys. What? I saved the best thing for last. The best? Uh -huh. For last? You bet. Oh, I've got one more move that's totally killer. Oh, Let's see, what? it's a twisting 360 with a flip. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been perfecting it all week. You see, I hit the jump, and then I flip, and I make a full revolution at the same time. Whoa. It's awesome. I have got to get that. Story. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me set up from a low angle, because then it'll look even more dramatic. Oh, good idea. Sure thing. Okay, uh, just let me know when you're ready. All right, I will. Okay, uh, let's see. Just about there. Uh, is that right? Yeah, all right, here we go. Okay, anytime, Scooter. All right, here it comes. There he goes. He's at the jump. Whoa, is he ever up there? Look at that. What an awesome twist and flip. Oh, no. Look out. Oh, no, no. Right. Scooter, are you okay? Scooter. Scooter. Scooter, are you hurt? Oh, man. I, 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 I don't think so. I mean, no. No, I, I, okay. Oh, I I'm guess. so glad. Oh, my parts. But, oh, man, look at my bike. Oh, look, Scooter, no. I'd be thankful it was just your bike that got busted up and not you, too. Yeah, yeah I suppose. Oh, like, man. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I guess I'll just head home. Yeah, that was... yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I would say so after that wipeout. I'm just, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Yeah. <clears throat> that was <clears throat> some crash. Oh, yeah, don't worry, guys. Bad. I'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay. okay. Uh, bye, Scooter. Bye. Thanks yeah. again for helping me out. <laughs> oh, see ya. Sure, sure thing, Liz. Uh... Spike? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, hello, Spike? Yeah. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know how I kept that in there while Scooter was here. What are you talking about, Spike? Oh, 
It was all I could do not to bust up laughing when Scooter wiped out. Psych. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> was it ever? Hey, hey Liz, Liz, play it back on your camera. <laughs> okay. I want to see it again. Okay, okay, just a second. I okay. gotta find it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, here it is, here it is. Okay. All right, here it comes. <laughs> oh, that should give the Camp Hollywood guys something to brighten their day. Oh, come on, Spike. Why stop at Camp Hollywood? What, what do you mean, Liz? Oh, come on, this clip is going straight to the Feats of Failure website. Oh. Again, this beanbag game is just not my thing. Your turn, Julia. You just need to relax and let things flow, Lucille. You know, get into a rhythm. Here, like this. Woohoo! Airmail four aces. I'm hot today. Man, you are. Well played, my dear. Well played. Thanks. I could barely get the beanbag to even hit the box, and here you are just putting them all in the hole. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? Well, some things just come naturally, I guess. Hmm. Like you and algebra. Wow. Which, by the way, I need to thank you one more time for helping me out. Uh, I took my midterm exam today, uh, and I've never felt better about how I did on a test. Uh, You're a lifesaver, Lucille. Well, I'm glad to help you out, Julia. Now, do you think you could maybe help me out with my beanbag throwing technique? Oh, sure thing. Okay. Just keep your eye on the hole uh -huh. and throw underhand with a smooth, fluid motion. Uh -huh. Aim just short of the hole okay. and then let the beanbag slide in. Okay. Like this? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I see that I have some competition now. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Scooter. Hi, Scooter. Hi, Scooter. Hey, Lucia. Hi, hi, Julia. Yeah, you want to join us for a game of bags? Um, well, thanks, but no thanks. Oh. Well, is hmm. something wrong, Scooter? Yeah, you sure look like something's bothering you. Yeah. Well, I guess it's like, you know, good news, bad news. Oh, so what's the good news? Yeah. Well, I guess the good news is that I'm a celebrity on the Internet. Yeah. Wow, congratulations, oh, wow. Yeah. Scooter. Yeah. All right, so what's the bad news? Yeah. Well, the bad news is I'm famous for doing a crash and burn on my BMX bike. Oh, no. Yeah, I was doing a stunt on camera for Liz, and I wiped out. Oh. And then he uploaded the video to Feet to Failure. Wow. And it's the number one video today. Oh. Now, why would Liz do something like that? Mm. Yeah. Well, why don't you ask him? Here he comes. Well, hey, Julia, Lucille, and Hello. hey, Scooter. Hey. How does it feel to be famous? Uh, I'm not giving any autographs, if that's what you're after. <laughs> so don't even ask. Liz, how could you do that to Scooter? Do what? Well, embarrass them in front of the whole world? That's what... Wait, embarrass Scooter? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lucille, Scooter did some amazing stuff for my demo video for Camp Hollywood. I just sent a few seconds of video to Feats of Failure. What's the big deal? Everybody fails sometime. Uh-huh, mm. except posting somebody's failure for the entire world to see? Well, that's something different. Come on. Yeah. Oh, well, don't worry about it, Lucille. Yeah. It was my fault for not hitting the jump at the right speed. Well, uh, you know, like Liz said, everybody fails. See? Uh, see you later. See you, Scooter. Bye. 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 Scooter. See, Lucille? Even Scooter says it's no big deal. Hey, you guys playing bags? Can I try a shot? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Here. All right. Okay, everybody, watch this. Mm -hmm. Behind the back. Oh, Whoa. yeah. How does it feel to be in the presence of a winner? Well, you know, you might want to be careful, Liz, because pride goes before a fall, you know. Yeah, or before a fail. Yeah. Uh, do you two know something I don't know? Well, uh... how about how to be humble, for one thing? How's the radio station going these days? Oh, it's going great. Oh, so God. We're picking up new listeners all the time. Oh. <laughs> the old winning streak continues for the listener. Mm. <laughs> so, what's your topic for your show today? Well, that whole thing with you and Scooter got me thinking about what might the Bible have to say about failure. Oh. So I thought I'd see if anyone out there has a story to share. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess some people need to know how to handle failure. Not that I'm one of them, of course. <laughs> Liz, be careful. Oh, come on. It could happen to you. Well, see, my theory is that mm -hmm. failure happens to the people who set themselves up for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not like that. 
Well, I'm not sure no, that this... look at the time. It's almost time for you to go okay. on the air. Okay. You get set, and I'll introduce you. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm good. Here we go. Okay. You're listening to the best in Christian programming for kids like you from LizRadio.net. Next up is What's Bothering You? Got a problem that has you stumped? Got something on your mind that you need cleared up? Let Lucille give you the answers straight from the Bible. And now, here's Lucille. Ah, oh, thanks, Lizard. Hey, I've been thinking about failure. Everybody fails at one time or another, so it seems that the Bible would have something to say about it, and boy, does it ever. In fact, one story in the Bible is about the biggest failure of all time. We'll talk about that in a minute, but right now, I'd like to hear your stories. Have you failed at something? Call me. Tell me what you learned from it. Call now. Let me know all about it. Oh, look, here's the caller on line, too. Hello? What's bothering you? Oh, well, it's algebra. That's what's bothering me. Julia? Is that you? Oh, Lucille, I tried so hard. What happened? Well, I got my grade from my midterm algebra test. I thought you said that that was the best test you ever had. Well, I must have been fooling myself. I flunked it. Bad. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. I'm grounded for, like, forever, and I'll have to do after-school sessions to try to catch up. <laughs> this is awful. I'm so sorry. You know, there's a... <gasps> Excuse me, Julia. Liz! Man. Liz, is something wrong? No, 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 no. Liz, I'm on the air. What's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just the admissions committee from Camp Hollywood just sent me an email. Thank you for your application and video submission. We've received hundreds of applications from talented youngsters like you. Unfortunately, we must decline your application to this year's Camp Hollywood. Please try again next year and keep at it with your creative endeavors. Oh, Liz, I'm sorry. That is too bad. I've been looking forward to going to Camp Hollywood for a whole year. And now this. I mean, why? My thoughts exactly. Why? Sorry for the interruption, Julia. Maybe it's time to tell you both about the biggest failure in the Bible. Do you remember what Simon Peter said before Jesus was arrested? Uh, well, you mean how he was going to fight for Jesus, even if it meant he would die too? That's it. Well, yeah, but what does that have to do with us? Well, plenty. Luke twenty-two thirty-two tells us how Jesus answered Peter after his boasting. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. But Lucille Peter did fail. He ran off with the other disciples when Jesus was arrested, and later he denied three times he even knew Jesus. And Jesus knew that Peter was going to fail big time, and that's why he gave Peter those instructions in the second part of the verse. Well, what instructions? When you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Jesus wanted Peter to use his own failure to encourage others. Well, I sure could use some encouragement right about now. Well, Liz and Julia, it's important to remember that even though we fail, God is never going to fail, and his love and care for us goes on no matter what. Wow. Thank you for that reminder, Lucille. Yeah, thanks, Lucille. You know, maybe there is a lesson here that someday I can help some... Oh. What's up, Liz? You know what? Someday is now. Uh, I beg your pardon, Liz? There's no time to explain. Hmm? Listen, Lucille, yeah? just keep going with your show. Then hit play on the main deck when you're finished, okay? I'll be back. What? Oh, hey, Scooter. Hey, Liz. Well, thanks so much for coming back to the track and bringing your bike. Yeah. I'm really glad you got it fixed up. Yeah, uh, Liz, we, we tried this once already, remember? Yeah, I do. And, you know, I really should not have posted that video of you crashing without giving you another chance to do the track. Oh. Scooter, I am really sorry. So, let me get this right. You want me to try again? Well, yeah. But, oh, what if I fail again? Oh, come on. I know you can do it. Oh, no. You're a really talented writer. You deserve another chance. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give it a shot. Excellent. But uh, just one more time. Okay, that's okay. fair enough. I've got the video camera set up, so whenever you're ready. Okay, uh, I'm ready. All right, go for it. All right, Scooter, looking good. In the jump, just in turn. Oh, yes! yes. Oh, oh, nice. High five! Scooter, you did it! That was awesome! Oh, thanks, Liz. Oh, oh. 
Oh, man. You know, really, Scooter, I, we need to thank Lucille. Oh, Lucille, why? Well, yeah. And she's the one who reminded me that all of us are going to fail. And what really matters is how we handle it. Huh. And if we learn what we can from it, we can help other people through their own times of failure. Huh. Wow, that's really good advice about failure. <laughs> yeah, Lucille's good with that. Huh. I... Oh, no. What? Uh, speaking of failure... What? What, what is it, Liz? <laughs> Uh, Scooter, you don't suppose you could do that trick just one more time for me, could you? Well, I suppose so, but why? Well, it seems that I uh, failed to put the memory card in the camera. Oh. So, I didn't actually get any of that. Can oh, we do okay. it again? <laughs> okay, here we go, Liz. All right, I'm ready, so whenever you are. Okay, here I go. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You know, just when you think you got life figured out and everything's under control, then BAM! A curveball comes your way. I really thought I was a shoe-in for Camp Hollywood. Who would have thought that they'd reject me? Well, come to think of it, Spike and Lucille didn't seem too surprised, did they? Huh. Oh, then there's old Mr. Dependable, my little buddy Scooter. Man, that kid is always with me through thick and thin. And that video of him falling from his BMX bike was really hilarious. But I never imagined he'd be so embarrassed when I posted it online. How about that? That's two times that things didn't turn out the way I thought they would. And you know, the Bible story that Lucille talked about, about Peter? I'm starting to know how he felt. It's not about me, is it? I can't always win. I will fail sometimes. Actually, all of us are going to fail. You know, I gotta remember that. And I gotta remember to think about others instead of always about myself. (laughs) Wow. I thought I had that algebra midterm nailed, especially with Lucille helping me study for it. I can't tell you what a shock it was to get that test back and find out that I actually failed it. I was so confident. I was so sure I aced it. Then I got the grade, a big F. It just felt like my whole life fell apart. An F. Oh, I knew what was coming. Grounded for like forever. And extra schoolwork to try and catch up. Nobody could know how I feel. Well, that's until Lucille told me about Peter and how Peter denied Jesus three times. I think Peter was just about as confident as I was. He failed. And I failed. But Jesus never fails. You know... Next time I see someone stumble and fall and fail, I can be there, right next to them and help them. Because I know Jesus is always right next to me, helping me when I stumble, when I fall, and when I fail.